Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're going to test them. We're going to test the beast. And we're going to test this. So we're going to try it in this one first. And what we're going to try and do is get the tightest radius we can. So we're going to adjust that to its highest. That is your problem. So we'll take it off. That there, that there. So it's shallow in the middle. But now moving on to this is where it gets different. Right. Longer bit. Twice as long. Now, don't get me wrong, this machine here is still a very good machine. Very good set of rollers. It struggles with long bits like that. Mine can't roll tube. It has, the diameter would have to be, what, at least 10 inches, 12 inches in diameter, 300 mil in diameter. This can roll round stuff. All the time, as long as you've got small bits, it'll round them, per you know, roll them perfectly. That can't. Thing is, that is not built to do this sort of work. This is for panels. This is for curving. Like I say, I don't know if this is gonna work or not. This is its first trial of actually rolling material. And it might be an absolute disaster where it just goes bang. But we're going to try it. Get this in. Well, that's a bit loose there. We're going to try and pinch it. So you can see that gap closing. So what we've got to do is just put these rollers down till you can't see the gap. There we go. Let's give this a go. Now remember, these are all independent as well, so we can adjust them and adjust them, and they'll give us either a lazy curve or a tight one. So the, the tighter they're all together, the tighter the curve will be. And the other thing with this, so we'll do another all the way down. Well, what I'm going to do I'm going to just wing this right down. One, two, one, two. Now, if you look through there on the edges, you can see it's got that curve. So, that's what we do. We adjust it out. And there. There. Remember on this, I'm trying to get as tight a radius as possible. So this is why I'm not sending it all the way through. This is just to prove basically a theory. Now if you look down that edge there, that is unbelievably flat. Now that one down there, looks like it could do a little bit more there. So all we have to do is 
sort of push that one up a bit more. Push that one. I think it's got a little tweak here. But... See that? Oh my god, that's flat. Oh my god, it's working. A bit more on that, a little bit more on that. A little bit more on that. See, it might just go bang in a minute and be a total disaster. So, all we're trying to do is just get this up to 90 if we can. Because remember, this can taper as well. So, this can stay flat there, but it can also taper. Let's have a look at that. Oh my god, that's actually too much. Right. Now let's see what this looks like. Right up. Oh, woo. Now that, as you can see, has gone over well over 90. It's got a little bit of a, that hasn't, but that can be adjusted out. In fact, that's pretty flat, isn't it? Oh my God. So let's see what we've got. We've done it more, so in effect, we can see that there, that's the difference. And distortion. Same there. And that would be worse. But that's as far as that would take it. It wouldn't take it up any further. That was the first the furthest it would go on that radius. Where this one, double the length, has done that radius, and it's kept it constant. It's worked! Oh my god. It's actually worked. Very pleased. So we can roll that. So it's not just going to work like as a brake press. It can actually work as a, a roller too. So, now the difference... Well, as you see, it doesn't grip that well. And this is why they don't make pyramid rollers of thin sheet metal. Because the pinch bend actually pinches the metal and grabs it through. Oh, that's it. Once it grips, then... And the thing is, we can do this on a large scale as well. So you can just keep on going down. And this can do long lengths. And you won't be able to have to sort of force it through because it won't need it. See what I mean? So you've got, you see we can do that a little bit more. Push it through there. That one. And just sort of run up a bit so it don't scratch. And there you've got a two. But it can do this over a long length. And that, because I'm forcing it through there, you won't have to with a big length because once it grips, the force on it will make it go through quite easily. So the upshot is, is this a good machine? Well, I think so because I made it. So I'm bound to say that. Well, it's done everything I wanted it to. But it needs to do more. And I reckon it can do more.
because I reckon it can fold. Because this bar here, this roller, has got four bolts that in, four bolts that in, and it will come right out. These carriages, they'll just come out. They're M20 threads in there. Now I reckon if I was to put a block of alley with a massive slot all the way through, bolt it onto the bottom of there, and then can put press brake blades in. And then all of a sudden you've got a folder. So you can move them right up, and then you could do a, either a tapered fold or a, a proper fold like 90 degrees, 90 degrees, or you could do 90 degrees, 20 degrees. This, I think, has got a lot more capabilities. So I'm going to make another video of that, I think, but probably in the next video, I'm going to have a go at the car door. So the Rolls Royce Cloud R door is massive. It's 1,325 mil wide. So that's about that, I'd say. And the thing is, that's tapered. So I'm going to give it a go in this because that will be a proper job. And the, the other bits are just, just messing about, see if it works. And it does. Hopefully you like the video. And if you did, please subscribe, like, press bells, buttons, whatever you want. And um, I can keep making these videos. Thanks for watching.